Hello and welcome. Game is becoming too interesting, but there are lots of questions in your mind. And because of this, you know, you are not so comfortable, right? No need to worry. I'm going to answer all your questions as well. First of all, you understand that when we are using virtual machine, we are sharing hardware. That's why we call it hardware virtualization. Each machine having their own cell and kernel. But when we are using container, we are not sharing hardware. We are sharing operating system components kernel directly. That's why we call it OS virtualization. Because of this, because of this kernel sharing, okay, container become so lightweight. Now, first question everybody must have, it is like, okay, if I want to create virtual machine, I have to install operating system, right? Yes. For operating system, I have to have installation media, right? Installation media. So, I am using normal installation media as I am installing physical machine. Let's say that if I want to install Windows Server 2012 or any latest operating system, how I am going to get media? I am going to the Google. I'm going to say download uh, win server 2019. Let's say that, okay, I'm going to the Windows website and see here it is ISO download. Okay, I can click on 64-bit edition and it is going to download ISO image. Now using this ISO image, you can install physical machine and you can also install virtual machine. There is no difference. But how I can create container and how I can install container? Okay. So to create container, you have to have image. Okay. You can create container from the image. We are going to talk lots of about image. But first of all, I am going to give you a glimpse about it. Let's say that I want to create Ubuntu container. Now, if you want to create Ubuntu container, you must have Ubuntu image. From where you will get it? You have to go to hub.docker.co. Okay. Now, let's say that I want to go with the Ubuntu. So, I am going to say Ubuntu. See here, I am going to get Ubuntu official container image using this Ubuntu image I can download this image and I can create container let's say that I want to use Red Hat Linux okay so here I have Red Hat images as well so in order to create container you can create your own image or you can download the images from hub.docker.com okay and using this image you can create your own container so let's summarize this whole step let's say that i want to create ubuntu container i want to go through the step by step process tell me how i can do this first of all I have to have any physical machine or virtual machine. Let's say that here I use example of virtual machine. So here I'm going to give you example of physical machine. Let's say that I have physical machine. On the top of this physical machine, you have to have operating system. Okay. Let's say that I am going to use any operating system over here. Uh, Let's say that I have Linux operating system installed. Okay. So your Linux OS. Now on the top of this Linux OS, you have to install Docker. Uh, Docker service. Okay. Once you install Docker, there is a Docker command line interface using command line. You have to download Docker image. Let's say that you want to download Docker image uh, for Ubuntu. So you will download this and you will download this Docker Ubuntu image. And from this image, you will create this particular container. Okay. 
Now, if you want to use Red Hat, no problem. You can also download Red Hat or any Linux. Okay, so Docker Red Hat image. Okay, and you can also create container using this. Okay, so this is like a main concept. Again, there is a one concept. I'm going to repeat this. Let's say that, okay, in this case, both of this container is actually using a kernel of my Linux OS. Yes, both of them are actually using my kernel of main host operating system. Okay. This is the whole concept. Because we are sharing kernel, containers are lightweight. Now you may have one another question as well. The question is, let's say that here I am using Linux operating system, right? Instead of this, if I want to use main base operating system as a Windows, can I do this? Yes, you can use Windows operating system. In Windows, can you install Docker? Yes, Docker desktop or Windows is also available. Now I have Windows over here. Then I have Docker uh, installed in it. And then I am creating this Ubuntu container and an edit container. Now, these Linux containers, yeah, these Linux containers, are they able to access kernel of Windows? Because if I have Windows installed over here, it means this kernel is also Windows. And then if I am creating container, which is Ubuntu and Red Hat Linux based container, are they going to use this Windows kernel? If I am saying that yes, you will definitely kill me. Yeah, because they have total different uh, kernel structure. So Windows kernel cannot be used by this. So the question is, when I am going to use a Windows operating system, and then I'm going to install Docker over there, how it is actually working. You don't need to worry about this. I'm going to answer all your queries as well. In the next video, I will tell you how we can install window, uh, Docker inside Windows operating system and how, and how it is going to use share kernel concept over here. See you in the next video. Have a nice day. Goodbye.